Hey, and welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for my commentary on judo matches available on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Paris 2022 in the men's division, under 90, between uh, Rafael Macedo, Macedo from Brazil and Maxime Gale uh, Nga Yap Hambu. Oh, my pronunciation is not going to be good <laughs> from France. Uh, so let's just get into it. So Raphael is in the uh, white and Maxime is in the blue. Okay. Seeing, okay. Uh, right now, just fighting grips, getting the lapel. On va voir, uh, on va voir ce que uh, oh, okay. So Maxime has been penalized for getting the grip inside the sleeve for a finger or multiple fingers or thumb as inside. It's, uh, I didn't see that, but of course the ref has his own uh, angle and he's quite a bit closer. So <laughs> I'm going to just assume that he saw, saw it. What he saw was what he saw. Voilà, on voit la différence par rapport au match de okay. de Loïc. Il y a un petit temps de un petit temps d'observation. Okay, peu, so on va pas on va pas se livrer totalement d'entrée. Ouais. On contrôle un petit peu. En gros, on yeah. Un peu, uh, not sure what to, to make out of this. It's just really okay. A cross grip on, on the sleeves. Just uh, both trying to really establish a, a strong grip. Okay, a drop. Um, that's really like a non-throw to me because <laughs> you know you're 90 degrees you have nothing into the body but uh, we'll see how uh, this progresses so far it's been not too much has been uh, uh, thrown out there okay oh needed just a little bit more rotation to get the, the wazari there uh, but the left uh, Senagi seems to have some potential there. But I think he smashed his face a little bit. Referee gave him just a couple seconds to compose himself. Okay, re-establishing re grips. Okay. And uh, Maxime does go for this. Uh, oh, oh, that was dangerous. Oh, that was that was really dangerous. Yeah, not like physically dangerous. It's just that uh, Maxime was very close to just uh, taking the opponent there. If, there. if he had a bit of a little bit more rotation pull. Uh, with the left arm, that would have gotten that quarter turn, gone to was our minimum. If he hit the ground, if he hit his back at all, that would have been a ball for sure. Okay, so over the back now, Maxime is going for a bit of a different grip before he was going for the the cross grip. I guess it's, okay. There it is. Oh. That's got to be Epon. I think that's Epon, right? Unless he did not land on his back, but I, that looks like he landed on his back. Wazari. Hmm. I'm not going to say that's sus, but it seems a little sus. <laughs> Okay, so Wazari. Okay, fine. So uh, Rafael is is uh is up by Wazari. Um, he's really got to work now. The time is his, his enemy. I don't think Rafael's got any penalties on him so far, and uh, over the back definitely did not work for him. So so let's see what he can do. Oh yeah, and Rafael is still keeping up the pressure on Maxi. Uh, I haven't seen too many really threatening attacks, and yeah, classically, spending time in there was a that's going to drain precious, precious seconds off of the less than one minute that Maxime has left. And uh, there's a oh, there there may be uh, 
Hold down, hold down. No, oh, oh, yeah. If you can stay there, stay there. Okay, good. Yeah, that's Osakomi. That's gotta be Osakomi. Yeah. Oh, this might be over just off of the hold down. Oh, uh oh, yeah. Spin all you want. Okay, well, congratulations to Raphael. Uh, I know it's a disappointment, disappointment from Maxime, but uh, you know, of course, he wanted to do well in uh, in Paris, but uh, you know. I think on balance, uh, Raphael earned it, obviously. I thought it was over earlier, to be honest. So, <laughs> uh, you know, as I say, in basketball, ball don't lie, I guess. But uh, let's have a look at the uh, th the earlier throw that I thought it was over from. Uh, I think it was around here. Is that right? Let's just have a quick look at that. And, uh, okay. Maxime goes over the back, yes. See if I had a crew that could tell me when. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, okay, wonderful. So, so he broke the grip down, pushed down, and then he drove uh, same side, and uh, to Makikomi, essentially, um, with the leg that's blocking there. And uh, you can even see there's nothing, there's no help here from Maxime's body. Like you can't do anything here. So uh, good, strong uh, Makikomi. I personally would like the Makikomi to be higher up, at least the elbow, if not into the bicep, or even ideally to the shoulder, and then you just you make the same motion. But it does expose you a bit more too if you don't have uh, good Kazushi. So, I yeah, I still even on replay that still looks like it that would be a pawn to me. But uh, in any case, that's all I have for you uh, today. Uh, if you have any uh, thoughts or f feedback or recommendations for the channel, please leave a comment. Until next time, have a great night.